Welcome to Sphere Finance. I am Price Time, and you're watching Sphere TV. In this video, I'm going to talk about the liquid markets and how they will increase capital efficiency across all of DeFi. But first, if you haven't already, subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you will automatically be notified when we create new content. As part of Sphere's growing ecosystem, Sphere is building what will be called the Liquid Markets. The Liquid Markets are not a separate project from Sphere. Rather, they will be a wing of Sphere that allows for the minting of redeemable, yield-bearing versions of max-locked vote escrowed tokens. That seems confusing, so let's break it down with an example. Penrose to Dystopia and Unknown to Cone are excellent examples of this exact concept. Let's use Penrose and Dystopia as our example. Dystopia tokens, or DYST, can be vote escrowed as VEDYST to earn swap fees and additional rewards from Dystopia. The downside is that these tokens must be locked for at least one week or up to four years to receive those rewards. The longer you lock, the more voting power you receive per token. While VEDYST is an NFT and can be traded on NFT markets, this process still requires the seller to wait for a buyer, making NFTs liquid but only to an extent. This is where Penrose comes in and allows you to convert your DYST to Pen DYST. Penrose will then take that DYST and max lock it in Dystopia. The rewards from Penrose's max locked VEDYST holdings are then paid out to Pen DYST stakers on Penrose at a current APR of over 250%. VEDYST voting rights then go to PEN vote lockers. Penrose shoulders the risk of vote escrowing DYST for the maximum amount of time indefinitely so that you do not have to in exchange for a performance fee. You then have PEN DYST, which is a fully liquid token with a growing liquidity pool. PenDYST can also be staked on Penrose to earn the max locked rewards of Penrose's VEDYST. This allows you the ability to enter and exit a max locked vote escrowed position with ease, though you do forfeit your voting rights to Pen vote lockers. The same concept will be true for Sphere's liquid markets for valuable VE tokens created by Sphere's ecosystem and across the entire DeFi space. So let's go deeper with our Dystopia and Penrose example to help you understand what this will look like. Penrose, as you know, is built on top of Dystopia and aggregates voting power. The voting rights of VEDYST can then be obtained by Pen vote lockers, with the advantage of only needing to lock Pen on Penrose for 16 weeks to obtain maximum voting rights versus needing to lock for four years on Dystopia. However, VL Pen is not a tradable token, which is a barrier for many people who desire the ability to enter and exit their position at ease. So instead of vote locking Pen as VL Pen, the liquid market will allow you to convert your pen into SP pen. Though each liquid market will be unique to the token in question, let's walk through how it will work for pen and SP pen. Now this slide is complicated and it can be overwhelming at first, so I will break it down step by step. When you convert your pen into SP pen at a one-to-one -one ratio, the liquid market will take your deposited pen and stake 90% of it on Penrose as VL pen. The other 10% of your deposited pen will go to a redemption vault that will allow you to redeem your SP pen back to pen at any time. Now recall that VL pen is a yield bearing asset on Penrose. The yield 
earned from the liquid market supply of VL pen will be converted into a pen WMATIC LP on Dystopia and staked into Penrose. The liquid market's supply of VL pen will then be used to vote on that pen WMATIC LP to increase its incentive rewards. This will generate higher DYST and pen emissions for that LP, which will then be paid out to SP pen stakers. In exchange, the liquid market will take a small performance fee on the revenue generated, which will be paid to VE Sphere holders, but that will be a topic for another video. A portion of the performance fee may also go to help build the redemption vault to ensure that exit liquidity is available for those who want it. So why bother going through all of this trouble? Well, currently, staking pen on Penrose yourself yields around 30% APR and grants you voting rights. The downside is, of course, that you have to lock your pen for a period of 16 weeks. Alternatively, by converting pen to SP pen, you gain access to a liquid asset since you can always redeem your SP pen back to pen thanks to the redemption vault. You also get to earn yield on yield automatically as the liquid market's VL pen rewards will be converted into the dystopia pen WMATIC LP, which will be staked into Penrose. The high voting power from the liquid market's VL pen directed towards that pen WMATIC LP will produce a high APR of DYST and pen rewards. The APR for this vault is currently already around 140%. Simply put, as a SP pen staker, you automatically get to earn the high rewards of a volatile LP by single staking a redeemable asset. The liquid market assumes the risk of vote locking pen indefinitely. In return, you forfeit your voting rights of VL pen so that the liquid market can use it to incentivize the pen WMATIC LP on Dystopia and Penrose. Plus, there is that small performance fee I mentioned earlier. Again, this is just an example of what the liquid markets will be capable of. In a nutshell, the liquid market will allow you full access to the high rewards of max locked governance tokens via a fully redeemable and compoundable token. You gain easy access to the highest possible yields out of a governance token and maintain the ability to redeem and then sell your tokens at any time. In exchange, you forfeit your voting rights and the liquid market will take a small performance fee. Remember too that the liquid market will not only support projects within the Sphere ecosystem, but also projects throughout the entire DeFi space. It's also worth pointing out that the liquid market also benefits supported protocols because it encourages you to lock up your tokens, effectively reducing circulating supply while still maintaining liquidity through the redemption vault. And in the case of PEN and SP PEN, it will provide a source of increasing and contract locked liquidity. Sphere benefits from the small performance fees I mentioned earlier and from the increased governance accrual for Sphere through both the liquid market directly and, depending on the token, through the performance fees. Sphere has created foundational infrastructure that attracts liquidity. Dystopia and Penrose on Polygon and Cone and Unknown on the Binance Smart Chain as starters. And with the liquid markets, Sphere is creating infrastructure that maximizes capital efficiency of that liquidity and throughout all of DeFi. The best place to stay up to date on announcements or contact us is through the Sphere Finance Discord. Check the description below for official links. You can also leave us a comment below and we will do our best to help. 
After all, this video and channel is for educational purposes only and is not financial advice. Thanks for watching and always remember that you matter for who you are. The rewards from the rewards from Penrose's the rewards for Penrose's max locked VEDYST holdings. The rewards from Penrose's max 